Hey everyone, it's Shiz. Today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on weight painting. I'm using a default character from the Sketchfab account. I'll, I think it's Ritsuko, you pronounce it. I'll go ahead and post a link below so you can download it if you decide to play with it. Alright, first we'll go ahead and add an armature, Shift A. Let's go with the basic. And right now you can't see it because it's inside the model. So just come over here to the object data and go to the display and turn on this in front. And so now you can see through it. Go ahead and scale it up move everything up and we're only going to be working with the actual mesh so I'm going to hide the shirt and the shorts let's select the skeleton and scale it down SZ go into edit mode and select the arm let's rotate it on the Y axis and then G Z bring it up do the same thing for this side and select your mesh and your bone control P and pair it with automatic weights and so what that does is if you select the mesh it makes these vertex groups and automatically paints them but it's not always perfect so if you select the bone if you go into edit mode you can see what the bow name is and you can always change the bow name here but let's go back into pose mode make sure the bone selected now move it down or anyway and you see how the cheek is kinda stretching on both and also the head it's kinda stretching it it means that it wasn't painted correctly and you have to fix it manually. So let's switch over to white paint and F makes your brush bigger or smaller and shift F is the strength of how much you want to paint it. You can also right click and control the strength or any of these settings by just clicking and dragging. On this particular bone here you see that the cheek is painted green and that's why when the arm is moving the cheek also moves. So what you want to do is just, uh, just paint it all blue. You don't want any kind of weight on it. And so we can go back and test it go ahead and go into pose mode and move it and it's still happening and this is mostly because one of the other bones attached to the arm is also painted or the cheek is also painted so you have to go to those bones and also get rid of any painting on the cheek now let's move on to the armature so let's say that you have a custom armature or that one of the default ones is not what you want and you want to make your own so say that let's let's delete this side and say that you're working on one side you go ahead and add bones for the mesh and we want to mirror them to the other side so let's just say this he has another arm some kind of weird fox spider I don't know so what you could do is copy these over and paste them to the other side but they'll be rotated in the wrong direction and then you have to go and flip them over and also it's they're all labeled dot L and you have to name them dot R for right so I found the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and select all the bones on that you're going to want copied 
make sure and then you right click and hit symmetrize and you see it went ahead and did it and it also named all the bones with the dot r ending all right so let's say that you have two objects joined together right now the shirt is separate so i'm gonna do Control j but let's say that those were together you go into edit mode you want to and say you want to paint you know the shirt but it's going to be hard to do if you have both of them on top of each other so back in edit mode you want to hit L select the inner whoops it has a modifier <laughs> let's go ahead and hide it push H to hide it and so you're only going to be left with the shirt now if you go into object mode or weight paint it's still going to be there it's not hidden and so to do it click on this mask by face and it will single it out and if it's it just shows you a whole bunch of lines or all of your quads just um, press a to select it and it will change into the blue color then you can just go ahead and paint where you want to go over and just choose the one you want and then just start painting see so now if I want to go inside of it the mesh I can just zoom in and then paint on the inside and I don't have to worry about painting the other mesh that was on top of it Let's see well that's it for now guys um, hope you liked the video and I'll go ahead and try to make some more with some other tips. See you next time.